How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install some wads that way your little channel icons don't look so Wait. miserable and depressing. So uh yeah, let's do that. All right, so first things first, for those of you who don't know, a WAD is basically a way of adding a game or application to the system menu channel here. Uh, and that's just, you know, putting it in simple terms. So the things you're going to want to use in this are going to be the CIOS installer, which we used in a previous video. So you'll want to follow that because we're going to be using iOS 249. If you don't know what that means, just go ahead and watch that previous video, at least for the CIOS part. Next, we're going to need a WAD manager. And we're also gonna need some wads. Now, wads are treated almost the same as ROMs because you can essentially add games that you don't own to your system menu. So I'm not gonna be showing you how to get the wads, I'm just gonna be showing you how to run everything once you have the mods together. So uh, yeah, let's just grab our SD card and we'll head over to the computer. All right, so assuming you have the CIOS stuff all installed and done, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to this page that has yet another WAD manager. I know it's kind of a funny name, but it's actually a good program. And I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, go ahead and go to downloads. And I'll give you all these options here. I'm just gonna pick yet another WAD manager zip. And it downloads pretty instantly. Next, you know me, I always make a folder on the desktop just to kind of simplify things. So I'm just gonna call this WAD stuff. And from here, we're just going to go ahead and toss in that yet another WAD manager folder into this. Next, we can go ahead and extract this. Go ahead and right click it and go to extract to. Now this has a variety of subfolders. So we have the first one, the second one, then the apps folder. And then here is your actual WAD manager folder, which will need to go into the app section of your SD card. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so go ahead and select your apps folder and just drag this bad boy right in there. The next thing that you're going to want to do is on the root of your SD card, right click and make a new folder. And we're just going to call this WAD. It'll be your WAD folder. And you're going to drag in your games slash programs, whatever you're putting in there. So once again, I'm not going to show you guys how to get the WADs. I'm just going to show you what it looks like when I have it in there. Now, as you can see, I went with Bomberman Hero as my WAD, and you're just going to back out, and you'll see that's in the WAD folder, and you're pretty much all set to go. So it's not going to be in a RAR format, it should already be in its own extracted form. And uh, we're just going to take the SD card out and head back over to the Wii. And now that we're here, we're going to open up the Homebrew channel, which should only take a second to boot up. And I figured that it's fair time that I should give you a warning. WADs are yet another good way where you can potentially break your system. So I recommend backing up your NAN. I just made a video on that recently. I would check that out before continuing with this. Maybe I should have said it at the beginning, but better late than never. Um, but assuming you already have your NAN backed up, we're going to continue and we're going to select yet another WAD manager and go to load. Now right here, it's going to ask you select iOS version to use. I'm going to be using the iOS 249. Uh, the reason being is just because I already have had it done with the CIOS installer for previous videos. You might be able to get away with using other versions, uh, not 100% sure, but uh, I'm going to go with 249. Hit A, it's going to ask you select NAND emulator device, I'm just going to hit A again, and then select source device, which is the SD slot, which is what I'm using. And then you'll see we have the Bomberman Hero WAD, so I'm just going to press A. And it's going to say install WAD, or if you already have it installed, you go to the right and boom, uninstall WAD. So I'm going to go to install and press A, and we're just going to let it do its thing. It's going to install a little bit and do whatever it's got to do. We'll come back in a second. All right, so I have a hunch it's about to finish because it's been stalling here. Oh, called it! Okay, so now we're going to press A to continue, and we're going to press the home button because I believe, yep, that will restart the Wii. And you'll see right here in the bottom left corner, I have a Nintendo 64 sign with Bomberman Hero on it. And it's really as simple as that. I'm just going to boot it up real quick and just to kind of show you guys that yes, it does work. I might need to plug in a GameCube controller to use it though. Not 100%. If I do, I got one on layaway. You will need the classic controller. Yeah, so. Like I said, good to go. So. I just want to make sure that this works and, you know, 
prove that I'm not misleading anybody. But like I said, if you've gotten this far in the video, I will stress again that it is important that you back up your NAND. Should be one of the first things that you do when you homebrew your console because you can never know what can brick this thing. But it seems to be running, the sound seems to be working. I'm not sure how loud it is for everybody, so I might not play this for too long. But uh, everything seems to be working just fine. You can skip everything, which is like so unusual because games nowadays you can't skip uh, cutscenes like that. You gotta at least watch it one time beforehand. And yeah, everything seems to be running fine. So I'm pretty much just going to call it here. Uh, it was really simple. If you guys run into any problems, you can leave me a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you. Feel free to join the Discord because it's open. Let others help you if I'm not around. And uh, let me know what else you guys want me to cover. I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.